What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. It's Genevieve here and today we are doing another speed build. So today I decided to create a small house. It is very small and it's built for one sim only. So the background of this home I basically just wanted one sim to live here and just be very in the back and very versatile and lives by themselves, has no worries in the world, you know, just a very laid back lifestyle. Um, so yeah, so it's designed for a girl. So you can either make it a teenager who lives here with two cats. I did finally incorporate <laughs> pets into one of my bowls. I usually always forget about them. So today I was like, you know what? She's stranded by herself here and wants to get away from the world. So what's great to just add two cats into the slot. If you do want to change it to dogs, you're more than welcome to. There is only space for one litter box. So I just thought they could share. You never know. <laughs> so yeah, so right now, we just doing the exterior of this build and I just put a fishing pond at the back there. You can find this in the debug section. Normally when I start my builds, I go through the whole entire debug section because there is way too many objects now. So I try to find everything that I'm going to use in my build in that section there. And then as you can see with the pond, I just wanted to add a few decals and some lilies and trees or plants growing in the pond there. So I just created a basement and then I used the nine and zero keys just to raise the objects just to be floating on top of the pond. So yeah, so we're just doing some landscaping at the moment. And then I did build this in Oasis Springs, as you can see, Oasis Springs, I think it is Oasis Springs. My mind just went blank there but I'm pretty sure it's Oasis Springs <laughs> and then it's on a 20 by 15 lot and it came to about 57,000 simoleons so I think it would be perfect for a teenager who just wants to be by themselves and get their lives together or what you could do as well is have a old granny that lives here I don't know maybe a cat lady um, who wants plenty of cats in their home. I don't know. Um, yeah, you could do something like that. So yeah, so right now we're just doing the exterior. So everything is very pink. So that's why I said it definitely is suitable for a girl. So very, very pink. Um, <laughs> that's basically how I can explain this home. And then I just loved building this tiny home on such a small lot as you don't have to create such a huge home, especially for one sim. So I thought that was perfect. And then we're just starting off on the roofing at the moment. So the roof is also very pink. Um, I don't know how many times I'm going to say pink in this build, but <laughs> yeah, very, very pink. And then I decided to add a bit of white on the inside and on the outside by the um, balcony and things like that, just to break the pink a bit, because if it's too much pink, it really does take over the whole build. Um, so yeah, so we just finished the roofing now. And then we're going to move on to the interior. So we're going to start off in the kitchen and the kitchen is also very pink. And then I included two cat food bowls. Okay, well, we carrying on with the landscaping. <laughs> so I just used a bit of terrain just to spray the grass a bit, um, just to give it some green, luscious I don't know just make it look green <laughs> because I think the desert takes over and then we started doing a pathway towards the pond so I used these stone like mats that you can get I'm not too sure what pack they came with um, but yeah so I just did all the stones going towards the pond which I felt like it gave it a really nice feel and now we're going to move on to the inside so we're going to start off with the kitchen as I mentioned, the kitchen is very pink and then I also included a lot of white just to try and break that pink. So the tiles, I eventually do change to white because if you actually look at the end result, it's just, it's way too much pink. And for me to say that, I absolutely love pink. I would dream to have my whole home just rose gold, rose pink. Um, so <laughs> for me to say it's a bit too pink, it's it's you must know it's very very pink so yeah so right now we're just using the red shelf as i've mentioned in numerous videos of mine so it's a cc object that you can download i will have the link in the description box below if you are interested so it just helps you to clutter your um 
your shelves or tables, cabinets, I don't know, just put objects where you cannot use the zero or nine keys because they'll either float or be inside the object. So this shelf helps to just heighten your objects to the perfect height. So yeah, and then you just need to move away the objects just so that they don't stick to it. Because as you know, on objects you get where it, all these objects stick to it. So there's specific areas where you can put objects or can't. So you just need to move that object away and it won't stick anymore. So yeah, so we're almost finished with the kitchen. So we're just adding a few curtains. And as you can see, I love to clutter my um, shelves and things like that. I just feel like it makes it very homely, especially for someone that lives by themselves. They like to get a lot of things and buy a lot of things just to focus on their home and decorate their home the way that they want it. So yeah, a lot of cluttered items. And then we do add a small table on the in the middle of the kitchen. So it's a wooden table. And I just feel like in majority of kitchens, you would need something like this to like use your breadboard or your um, wooden board to cut things like meats and things like that. So I always feel like it's good to have something like that and it also fills the space so and it's completely different so I just added a few decor items on there and now we're just finishing with the curtains and then we're going to move on to the dining room so the dining room is made for three people so if she has guests over at least there's space for them and they're not fighting over a chair the amount of times I've played this game and there's only one chair especially when you want to make your sim rich without using mother load I used to do that all the time so I used to build my mansion and then place my sim in a small lot and make her work 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 paint I don't know do books um, and make money like that so I always had like the minimalist furniture in that home and whenever people came over to visit they would go straight to the fridge and there would be no seating areas so they would literally cry and cry and cry so <laughs> yeah at least there's enough space here and then I did put a cat bed and a scratch pad in this home as well perfect for the two cats you're more than welcome to have one cat as well obviously you can make this home to what you desire so there is no right or wrongs so yeah so now we just finished with the dining room it's i mean and the lounge we actually did the lounge as well so very very plain and simple um and then we're gonna and then i also made the bathroom a bit bigger because the bathroom is very small so there is no like laundry mats or laundry baskets or anything like that there's just a toilet and a shower very plain and simple very small and i just feel like with one person living in a home, you don't need that much space or a huge bathroom. So it's very, very small. And yeah, so it goes straight from her bedroom into the bathroom, which I found really nice. So at least she has a master suite <laughs> on in her bedroom, <laughs> if you would say. So yeah, so now we're just finishing off with the lounge. So just add a pink carpet and then... Yeah, so this was a very, very fun build. It is in the Sims Gallery if you are interested in downloading it. I did change my gamer tag, so it's jalopy underscore yt. So you're more than welcome to go and check it out there and download it in your game if you like. And yeah, majority of my builds are also there, so go have a look. I just finished creating an Area 51, the Alien Center restaurant. So if you are interested in that, I suggest you go check out that video. And then it's also in the Sims Gallery. So yeah, if you guys have any opinions or criticism or any other video ideas that you would love to see, I would definitely like to hear your opinions or I definitely love building things that people are interested in watching. So I definitely like to get a few ideas and I do write everything down. So I actually have a whole booklet of houses on next to me. <laughs> so whenever I'm in the mood for creating something, I just look at that and I start building. So yeah, so now we're just finishing off her bedroom. So her bedroom's also very pink, obviously and just putting a few decor items. I feel like also making this a grandma's home would also be perfect because grandmas can also like pink, okay? Like, <laughs> and it's perfect as well instead of just having a teenager if you want a retired grandmom to live here by herself um, and she just wants to be the crazy cat lady. As I mentioned, she's more than welcome to. But yeah, I would love to hear your guys' opinions and I hope you guys have an amazing day. 
night, evening, wherever you are in the world. And if you want to see more snippets or images of this whole house in total, just stick around and carry on watching the video and they'll pop up in the end. Thank you so much guys for watching and have a great day. Bye. Thank you.